All right, guys, Mike Caudill, brand ambassador for Go RVing, and it is that time. I promised that I was going to bring a little bit more emotion as we get ready to close out our day. I don't just have one. I don't just have two. I still have three more products to get through before we close out the 2023 RV dealer open house here in Elkhart, Indiana. And I have purposely waited until the very end to bring you to Tiffin. I've waited. So I got to bring you in. Let's go. Let's do this. We're here inside the Tiffin display, and if there is one thing you need to know about me is that I have a love affair with the Tiffin brand. If you're in the auto industry, right, you're thinking Ferrari, you're thinking Lamborghini, you're thinking Bentley, you're thinking the highest end in quality and craftsmanship with combined performance, and you're getting that with Tiffin. So I'm making my way into the booth here, and let me start with this. I want you to take a minute and just pan. Just breathe it all in, right? Just like in the movie Anchorman, breathe it in, San Diego, except we're in Elkhart. So we're going to talk about some big Class A's, and this is going to be a lot of fun. The first person I'm talking to is the National Sales Manager. You ready to talk? All ready right. Ready to go. Jane Fairley is the National Sales Manager, and the first one we are going to be going into is the Byway. And let's just start with the amazing look of this RV Tell me what is so awesome about this byway from Tiffin. Well, first of all, Mike, you hit the nail on the head. It's all about the look, right? So from the moment you walked up here, what you're going to see is a real glossy sidewall on the outside of this coach. Um, one of the really cool things that we do is that we use Gerard patio awnings on everything that we build. So you can see this big, big Gerard patio awning on here and Gerard slide out toppers, which are really nice because when you pull that slide out room in, they're gonna wipe all that stuff, all that debris up on top of there. They're gonna sweep that off before it comes into the inside of the coach. Well, what's the secret under here? What's hiding? That's a TV. Can we show Outside everybody? TV. Can we show everybody? Absolutely. And here's the really cool thing I love Soft about touch. this coach. Soft touch open. Right? Is imagine yourself out here, we're in Elkhart, Indiana. So what college football team is right here? University um, of Tennessee Volunteers. <laughs> Or Penn State for me. <laughs> <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is the uh, the mighty fighting Irish, right? Yes, of so course, could of you course. imagine yourself on a beautiful fall Saturday afternoon out here in South Bend, Indiana, and you got this TV on, and the beautiful thing is look how big this awning is. You're covered. So You're a protected. lot of coaches keep their awning on the coach itself, whereas we put ours on the big slide room because this is a full wall slide. So you're going to get maximum tailgating capability out here on this coach. I love it. I love it. You know, it's just, you know, I always tell everybody the same thing. I've said this in a couple different videos today. The outside's all me, right? I'm going to set up my grill. I've got the game going. Yeah, for sure. I've got all this awesome design. You know, it's always about, you know, having that awesome party look outside. Just high-end performance, and you get that. Beautiful window displays on here. We're going to go inside in a minute. Talk about storage because that's something oh, that man. everybody it's wants to talk about. It's storage galore. And here's the thing with the with the byway. This is a brand new coach for 2024. So really, this is the first time our dealers are even getting to see this coach out there, and they are loving it. But this is our quote unquote most affordable Class A diesel motorhome that we offer at Tiffin. And this looks anything but quote unquote entry level, right? Oh, yeah. So when you look at this, these luggage doors actually open to the side. So they open up just like this. So you're gonna have lots and lots of storage. And one of the things is these coaches are built by pride, with pride in beautiful Red Bay, Alabama. Red Bay, Alabama. Right? And we build all of these luggage compartment doors ourselves in our plant. And so one of the things is Tiffin Motorhome started way back in the 1900s, way back in 1972. So we've been doing this for 51 years. Oh, amazing. One of the things that we're known for is our luggage compartment doors and, and how we, we build 80% of the stuff that's on this coach. We, we don't buy it from vendors. We try to use, use local people where we can. So, so you can see when you close these doors, you can't do that on our comp competition. Right. That's, that's what's awesome about it. It's nice and tight and just closes without it having is. to use a knee or anything. It's like the that. highest end in quality. It's right? awesome. And, and, and so let's, let's talk about performance for a minute. Yeah. What kind of chassis are we riding on? So this is a Freightliner chassis. 
um, on this coach, you're going to have 340 horsepower. Yeah. You got 700 foot pounds of torque. And what motor is that? Um, this is a Cummins, Cummins. engine. So Cummins, Cummins engine. obviously tried and true engine in the industry. Absolutely. N well known for towing capacity. 100%. You're going to have 5,000 pounds of towing on here, which is going to tow just about any kind of regular car you want to tow. But a lot of our customers who are buying something like this are coming from a gas class A because they've been out west in the Rocky Mountains in their gas class A motorhome and they're being passed in the left-hand lane by a diesel motorhome. Right. So that's why this coach is so attractive. That was me. Absolutely. I was that guy. It's all that. It's all it's about horrible. that low end torque. It's horrible. There is. It, I just. I got. I got to share. Did you so, feel like your your coach no. just went? Oh. I got to tell you this. I'm going to share the story because this is just story storytelling time. All right. We did a 27-day uh, trip all on the West Coast. We did Bend, Oregon. We did Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. We made our way over to Beautiful. Yellowstone. And when you leave the west entrance of Yellowstone and you start making your way south, you're going to come to a T-stop. And the T-stop says Idaho Falls Strait, and it says Jackson Hole, Wyoming to the left. We got 200 yards out from this side in a Class A. Um, it, was a Thor, it was a Thor hurricane. Um, so gas, gas puller. Mm -hmm. And we get to the 20 yards out, and I turn to my wife, and I go, Go straight or go home, because we're heading home. You got 10 seconds to make a decision. Going home means we're home in a day. Going left means we got three, four more days. Mm -hmm. She says, go left. Well, we didn't pay attention to what go left means. Go left took us up over a grade, and on the backside, it was 12%. Mm. In gas, towing a car. Yeah. It scared us. So safety message for everybody at home, if you're going to do something like that, you got to have something like this right here that has the Jake brake, that has the exhaust braking that will help you get down that hill. Yeah. But boy, it would have been amazing to be in this. Absolutely, yep. This okay. would be great for the Great American Road Trip. Can we go inside? Let's do it. I want to do it. I want to see what's Let's happening go. inside. Ladies first. Thank um, you. Big opening door. Look We're going to go inside. How nice and wide these steps are. Yeah. A lot of times when you're coming in and out, you got your hands full of groceries and other things. So it's super easy to get inside. Nice handrails here. And All right, here, here we go, right making our way inside this unit right here. It's awesome. Starting with that exterior design, you make your way to the inside. Now it's all about the interior, right? Look at this open floor plan. Wait, I haven't seen a design quite like this. And I know, I apologize, everyone watching at home. I get a little excited and giddy, but that's because I truly enjoy showing off all these amazing RVs. What, this is like Texas in here. Like, look at this. It's sw oh, it's suede. You know what I like about this booth dinette? First so, RV at the show that I've been able to see suede. I'm 5'2 and a half. I know, I look taller, but I'm only 5'2 and a half. <gasps> You're making Liz loungers. TV. Watch TV. You got your feet up. We can sit here if we want to read a magazine or type on our phone or do whatever okay, we want Okay, so to. here's what I love we about this. It. I have a 16-year-old and I have a 14-year-old. Half my videos here this week. I always try and equate it to my kids, mm -hmm. right? How are we as a family enjoying the experience? And with this right here, you know, we'll all have an open space. I yeah. mean, I'm comfortable here. One of my kids wants the, you know, the party entertainment chair, have at it because I'm just as comfortable here and I have plenty enough room, not to mention I can eat. But this, tell me about this material. This is an um, an ultra. It's an ultra leather material. It's kind of a suede material on oh, here. It is. It's a little different on the than on the driver and passenger chairs themselves, but it's meant to be super soft and supple. And it is. Isn't it nice sitting here? It's nice and warm and comfy. You have enough space here to just stretch out. And you know there are 72 doors, drawers, and places to put stuff inside this particular floor plan. It, it, what's really interesting to me and. You know, I've been saying this. It's it's been an interesting few days, right? How can you how can you guys take it to the next level? All right, next RV maker, how do you take it to the next level? This is the next level. Like this interior is like very retro modern. Mm -hmm. um, it's like farmhouse meets Texas. Certainly, you've got yes. this amazing feeling. Like I don't, to be honest, I don't want to get up. Like it's that comfortable. I mean. And it has been like 20 absolutely videos so i i gotta keep working gotta keep um going. entertainment area you've got the full drop down bed up top so flora if you're watching you know we've still got a bed up here for ty he's six foot he's got plenty enough room it's going to drop down with plenty of height and then you've got your captain seat up here with modern technology all up front um, as we talk about this area over here, this is just awesome. Your television drops down. Jane, you've got a fireplace, but I see tons of storage. Lots and lots of storage. 
doors, drawers, different types of storage. And I got to tell you my number one favorite thing in this coach, because I'm a mom, right? And a lot of you guys have kids I'm looking out for the there. vacuum. There's going right. to be a vacuum. Nope. It has to do right here with this button right here. Can you tell me what that says? I can't because I don't have my glasses on. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care. Everyone gets to know Mike wears glasses. <laughs> I got a pair of glasses somewhere in here. There they are. All right. Now I can put it on. Air fryer. Oh, it's got the air fryer. It's built right into the microwave. Air fryer. Right? That is cool. Can you also do a turkey in there? You can. Can yeah. you do a turducken in there? You, Ma, I haven't tried it, but I'm sure you could. You mentioned Penn State football, which means you are a football fan. Yes. Just through deduction. Yes. All How right. about this window? Yeah, this is what we were talking about outside. So you have a great viewing area on the outside of this when the TV's down. You know, and that's what's great, right? The TV's not stuck in one spot. You drop it down. That's correct. And now you've got this massive floor plan in this tabletop or uh, countertop in here with storage. Yep. Lots of big drawers that pull out. This one actually has a place for all of your utensils inside of here. And then when you close those, they're soft, soft clothes. Soft clothes, soft clothes. That's you, something you don't find in this price point of a coach. Which, by the way, this price point, we didn't talk about that, but that's around three hundred and thirty to $340,000. And this is the top of the food MSRP. chain. MSRP. This is the top of the food chain, yeah. right? So this is going to require a special buyer, a special person that's you know, interested in this kind of a unit. Um, and you have a lot of people that have transitioned, you know, when you come out, of, when you think about COVID, there are a lot of people that said, you know what, I'm done living in a home. I'm going to go travel and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my life. We have some really good family friends. They have an Allegro yeah. bus mm -hmm. um, and they absolutely love it. They love being on the road. They're in Canada right now. They yeah. spend a lot of time. And when you do that, you want to be in something that is not just comfortable, but functional. And you have that. 100%. We're not and, even know, halfway there, Jane. No, no. And and more jobs, you know, you can work from home or from Yellowstone or from wherever it. you want to be. I want it. That's what's cool. I want this. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's check this out. Washer and dryer. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you'd expect that, right? So you got a full function washer and dryer in here. What's in here? What do we got? A half bath. Half bath. So you got two baths in here. And that's great, right? So if you want to entertain, you're going to shut this big door in the back here. And when you shut the big back door... Now you've got enough room in here uh, to keep your friends, everyone out on this side. They've got a bathroom to use. I also think about tailgating. We're talking football, right? So yeah. just stay on the theme of football and sports. Uh, boondocking, tailgating, all that stuff where you don't want people going into the back of the rig. They can go right up in here, and you have a lot of functionality. you got a big open closet in here. Is that what this is? Yep. What do we got? This one? I'm inside of there. Yeah, open do that pull, up. Do I pull it? Yeah. Oh. I'm yep. afraid to pull it. Slide it. Try sliding it. There you there go. There it is. Slides. Not, not I am glad I didn't pull. Holy <laughs> fuck. Jay, I'm glad though. I did. That's okay, a lot so of towel space. In check there. this out. Look at all that space in here. You have so much space on the inside of this. And that's cool. I mean, you want to talk about maximizing your space, you get to do it there. Oh, I saw Tracy in the video. Awesome. Um, you know, one of the things I like, too, because it's all about not only, you know, all the cool features in here, but how are things laid out? The number one reason somebody buys an RV is because of floor plan, right? It's me. I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> no. There, there you go. New Having unit. this washer dryer here, most of the coaches that you look at, they're going to be back in the bedroom. So having this centrally located here where you have plenty of space to move around and the kids come in from the beach or whatever, they can just open this up and throw their towels right in there. Yeah, it keeps it super Absolutely. easy. Absolutely. Refrigerator. I almost walked by because I just thought it was storage, so... Yeah, blends You've got in. everything buttoned down in here, and too. We do. Well, I keep going to just open something. I'm used to everything opening. Everything's buttoned there's down. There's a reason for that is when you travel, you do have to lock stuff down, right? And the technology is getting better. We all know the feeling of driving in an RV, and you, like, make that right-hand turn, and the door goes whoosh, and everything falls over the floor. Tyler, right? get all this stuff. And then he has to run over there. Good latches on here as well. Storage here. We're going to make our way to the back. Look at the sizes of these drawers. Just big old storage areas a slider so you got a slider that goes both ways you have ability to hang stuff in here as well which is awesome and then again look down here at the size of all these drawers one two three four five six drawers you never have enough drawer stuff right especially when you're camping you don't bring your prom dress right you usually bring shorts and t-shirts and jeans and stuff that you can roll up and put into drawers so it's really Lots cool space, that you've got no that doubt. ability to do that. Uh, king size bed. You've got charging on both sides. You've got ability to control all your lighting. You've got USB connections. You've got all of what you need. 
uh, here in your, your little nook area, which is awesome. And then in your bathroom, you got his and hers sink with the toilet. You've got storage as well in the middle, storage on the sides. And then of course, we always do the mic shower test. I think I've done it in every single RV here. We've got the shower test. Plenty enough uh, space in here. I like smaller showers, to be honest, because I'd rather have that space used in other parts of the RV. And I always want to point this out. I get asked sometimes, all right, well, we know the difference between a gas puller and a diesel pusher. We understand what that means as far as capacity, ability to tow, and all that stuff. But here's one little minor thing that I want to point out that's really important. When you have your diesel motor on the back of your RV, it means when you're driving up there, it's quiet. And that's what you get, especially with a Tiffin like this. It's going to be super quiet up front because you've added in all this awesome technology. And you've got these doors that you close as well. Jane, what else? What else do we got? Well, one of the things I want to point out about this um, shower back here, I don't know if you noticed it, is this is all one piece molded fiberglass. I did notice that. So I always talk about the little things that, you know, anything can look great. But when you get home and you start using it, and then if you had a shower pan in the bottom with just a surround around it with a gap in between, I hate to clean showers. Oh, this is super yeah. easy to just wipe down, clean out. And how tall are you? Six, two and a half. Okay. Six go two. back in that shower. Go back, not in the shower, but just here in the bathroom. Look how much headroom he has back there with room to spare. That's pretty awesome because we have a lot of taller customers. Um, who are concerned about that kind of stuff. And that's the stuff that makes the difference when you're actually out using these coaches. And this is a this is a lady thing that I love, but you know, one of my things is I always like to have a full size mirror that I can see my whole outfit. Hey, why has it gotta be a lady thing? Why can't I check out my style? Why don't you check out yourself? We got matching pants. We do. We are in the matching Ooh, pants twinsies. game today. We are twinsies. Absolutely. Jane, thank you so much for walking me through this. This is an incredible RV. I love the color. I love the look. We're gonna make our way out. Where are we going next? We're gonna go that way. We're gonna go check things out outside right now. And All we're right. gonna make our way over to another RV as we make our way across the Tiffin lot. We're going to run over to the next RV, which is the Phaeton, and it's been upgraded this year. It looks so different. You guys ready? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We got this day three, baby. Day three is going to take us into the new Phaeton. They've done some new things this year. By the way, as we make our way over right now, look at the color of this. I just want you to pan on that color. That color looks amazing. Now, the name Phaeton is synonymous with Tiffin, right? When you think of Class A's, you think of luxury, you think of power, you think of performance, but most importantly, you think of the highest in quality when it comes to a Class A motorhome, you think Tiffin, and then you immediately say Phaeton because it's synonymous with that. You see Phaetons on the road everywhere you go in every part of the U.S., and that's because the RVer expects the very best when they're going to be in a Phaeton. So, I'm going to bring in the vice president of sales on this, How Freddie doing, Swinney. We were talking a little bit before. I said, look, man, are you a baseball player? Are you a football player? Are you a hockey player? And he was like, I'm going to tell you when we're on camera, so give it to me. Golf. 100% no, man. No, yeah, okay, we're, we're one for one. We're all football here, football. man. Did you, did you hear how he said it? He was like, even slowed down. He's like, football, football. here. You gotta think, man. Who's your we got, team? We've been talking football week. So, so we're an Alabama Crimson Tide fan. Oh, 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 our camera operator, <laughs> she is. Roll Tide. Are you a Roll Tide? Are you from Alabama? I am from Alabama. You live in Red Bay? I do not live in Red Bay. I live in a small town called Tuscumbia, Alabama, which is the birthplace of Helen Keller. Think about that. You guys are gonna want to talk. We're gonna. We were gonna highlight Tracy, who's been amazing the last <laughs> few days, covering all these videos at the very end. We have to talk a little bit of business, and I came sure. into the opening, and I was talking about the fact that Tiffin is one of those brands that I absolutely love being around. It's one of those that just, it's, it's the pinnacle of, you know, the Class A RV industry when it comes to diesel. Right. Like, we know you got gas, and I, I get it. Like, I've had a Thor, I've had a Thor Hurricane, you yeah. know, I've had a Thor Magnitude, and I, like, I love it, but... Tiffin is where it's at. I mean, the logo says it all on its own, right? This big, beautiful T. Big, beautiful T, man. All right. Tell Mr. me what's Tiffin. going on here. I'm going to let you talk, and I'm going to shut up. <laughs> no, no, no worries, man. <laughs> Go so, for it. So we're here with the uh, 37BH Phaeton. Uh, it's the new 2024. We made a lot of upgrades to our Phaeton this year. 
So last year we had the uh, 380 option on this coach and a 450. So this year we're saying, you know what, why can't we just up the game, do a super raised rail chassis, build it just similar to a bus, and put a 450 standard in it. So we did it. Cool. So you now to get a super raised rail chassis, 450 horsepower engine, 3,000 Allison transmission, which raises the doors about three inches. So you're going to get more cargo space, about 164 cubic foot of cargo store space in this coach. This is a coach you need, man. So your engine size on this is what? A 450 and a 38 foot coach. Holy, this thing screams it down will the go. road. And your towing capacity has got to be. 10,000 pounds. Whole, so you day. can tow anything with this. Anything you want. Um, when we walked in and you and I were talking, I was like, man, this color is awesome. That's right. This is new for this year, right? This Euro color. blue. Euro blue. Um, we're going to go inside. We're going to talk a little bit more. I just want to point over my shoulder. We've all been walking by all day. What's the scoop on this amazing looking machine over my shoulder? Just the, little, the, the, this, little, the, the Oh, you're talking about my this, other yeah, thing. Yeah, so that's yeah. the 40IH 2024. We want to do something a little different. People like darker colors. Oh, right? it's so the pretty. The off-road rugged look. So we went with the new Midnight Edition paint with the all blacked out wheels for 2024. And is that a, is that a, or you order that, right? You, you, you can stock it, but yeah, it is, it is a custom order that we do beautiful. through Tiffin. All right, so as we, we make our way down on yep. this, plenty of storage, talk about the entertainment system. Have at it, man. Tell me everything you want consumers that are watching this video to know about this Tiffin Phaeton. Well, I mean, we're tailgaters, right? You're, uh, you're, you're a football oh, fan. Yes, sir. You're a football fan. So yes, sir. The great thing about what we have here is you got an option for roof medics, integrated awning, so the Gerard awning, so they will come all the way out to this point here. You can sit underneath, watch your Bama games. Roll Tide, again, got to throw that on the camera. 40-inch TV, nice sound bar. It is an LG Smart TV. All the storage here so you can you can easily access when you go in to get your chairs out for your tailgating. Let me unlock it. No! He's just going to hit a button. It's a passcode. I there heard it. I yeah. heard it. Oh, that's so cool. Unplanned. With sliders. Unplanned. So you have the Morad slide-out trays. Get all your chairs. Set your tents up over here, wherever you want to go. Kick back, relax, enjoy the game. Full wall slide, so everybody can just consume around this little Love area it. and enjoy the tailgating experience. You're going to have to go watch my Instagram reel where I'm inside laying down on this. Did you and get in this? I thing? did. I got laid in it, and then they pulled me out on a video. It was <laughs> awesome, man. It's awesome. Um, for everyone watching at home, you know, it's about taking it to the next level. And, of course, we're taking it to the next level with this right here. Having those slides is so important. It makes it easy. You know, I always think about... Not just me, but my folks, you know, when they're out there on the road traveling, keeping things easy by being able to slide everything out. You got your smart TV up here with your surround sound system that's pumping out great sound. This is also Wi-Fi, right? Correct. Yeah, so I can take my, wi -Fi. take my smartphone, pair it to this. Now I'm playing, you know, Spotify. I mean, if you're a Wolf Tide guy, what kind of music do you listen to? This is, this is a big moment. This is a big moment yeah, for me. Yeah, it's be, for me, it'd be Metallica in the park. Really, it, no, okay, maybe not. Maybe Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy so, Buffett. So, have you ever been to an Alabama game? I don't. You gotta is go. there a football team in Alabama? She, I guarantee she knows what it is, man. What is it? Tell me. You can say it. Say it. Sweet Home Alabama, Sweet home Alabama oh, and yeah. Dixieland a lot. You can't beat it. Roll Tide Road. I know. That's how you go. I, with I know, but Alabama. Yeah, that's cool. It All is right. cool. I, you I gotta give it to you. Yeah, I give it to you. You gotta give it to you. One thing I would like to yes, point sir. out is the doors. Okay. So you always talk about Tiffin and the quality and the construction. We, we actually build every one of these doors, so it's an aircraft grade aluminum. And you and can see it. They're insulated. Yeah, you can see it and you can feel it. And you then can you feel look, what it's all about. Soft you touch. Shut this, that's, that's yeah, it's just you a soft never touch. Ha never have to slam the door. Soft touch closed. Absolutely. All right, we want to go inside and check it out. Wait, you even got the you got the Gerard over the uh, over the window so here. So we've got we got the What's manual the Gerard. The, the purpose for this is when you hook into it, you'll pull your shade down. So if it's real sunny out. You do have your awnings out. If you didn't want to put the full awning out, you can have the window shade so you can still get a little bit of the natural sunlight coming in, but you don't want it beating down into your bedroom. That is awesome. And and how tall is this? 12 foot 11. Okay, 12 foot 11 on the height is what it's at. Correct. Got it, got it, got it. All right, let's make our way inside. Let's check out what this looks like, get a good feel. Oh, I can already see the color, man. The color after you, sir. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. After you. That color is amazing. I love the pad, the touch pad on the outside. That was something I immediately saw. Oh, yeah. This is just, again, it's, you know, you go from coach to coach, and you're like, this is just the pinnacle of luxury and opulence. 
uh, attention to detail. Pan up top, take a look at the ceiling. Talk about it. All right, so last year we had a big blocky style ceiling, so we wanted to change everything up this year. So we said, what is what are we getting from customer reviews? They wanted a really nice, elegant ceiling treatment inside the Phaeton. Phaeton has always been known as a very luxurious coach. It was number one for 15 years in a row in the Class A diesel space. So we're like, what can we do to incorporate this? So we added a lot more dimension to it, a little curvature, and now you've got a mirrored glass here, which is not actual glass, but it's a chromed aluminum. And then we have the nice little aluminum cutout that we CNC cut at our laser shop at Tiffin Motorhomes in Red Bay, Alabama ourselves. It is awesome. Um, this up here, it's just, it's classy, it's industrial. Yep. Uh, it, and is there any significance behind, it's just an amazing design. You're like, just, you know what, we're gonna make it cool. You wanna make it look really nice, but you want it to go with the sconce lighting as well. So when I was over in the other coach, I was like, this feels like Texas with that soft suede. Yep. You know what this feels like to me? Tell me. It feels like Nashville. Nashville. This is like Nashville meets Hollywood. Oh, okay. It's got that, it's got that, it's got that feel in it. Yep. So. Big, big induction top here, plenty enough space to spread out all your fun tailgating food. You got a full on LG, it's a, is this a, a convection up top here? It is. Yeah, so an LD convection. What's this? Oh, That's I mean, cool. Let's make sure you want to talk about it. It's, you know, this, some, you, all the area inside the couch. Look, I get it. We're talking football. You were just talking. I can I'm, just, I'm going to say it. It'll be the only time I say it on air. Um, Bloody Mary bar right there. Hey, man, I was just talking with you. I just want to make sure you got it. <laughs> It's a good place to put that Bloody Mary bar right there. Um, it, just as you guys spin around, I want to point out a couple different things. Trace, hold on one second. You got the bed that drops down up front, so that's a, that's another plus. Uh, you're starting to see that a lot more in RVs because you have, you know, grandparents that own these. They want to bring the grandkids, or in our case, we got Tyler and Megan, so we're thinking about where they're going to, you know, bunk out for the night. Tyler's probably going to be up there. Megan's going to be behind you right here. Plenty enough space right. with your entertainment. And then again, taking that same thing that we saw over in the other RV, that ability to sit here with these cool um, punch-out chairs. What do you call these with the, the seats that kind of, you know, it's a, it's a kitchen dinette, but the way we were sitting over there, and I love the way she explained it, is it now you've got your own seat over here because you can sit back like this. On our booth? Yeah, a booth. That's it's the word. Booth. I, you U-shaped booth. We got a U-shaped booth. Uh, we also do what we call a DCWS. Which is a, it's a dinette computer workstation. So the chairs will turn in at single chairs. So you can either yeah. get the booth or you can get chairs that's opposing with each other. So if you want that nice one-on-one -on -one conversation or if you're mad at each other, you can turn and look out the window. You ain't got to talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Full-size commercial grade. Residential uh, refrigerator. Residential refrigerator yes, right here. So you got plenty plenty of space to put in all your fun tailgating food. Your Bloody and Mary mix. Bloody Mary mix is going to go in there. And then inside you've got your front bathroom. So you're gonna have two bathrooms in here and this is great because you wanna be able to seal off the the, the back uh, living quarters just like we discussed earlier. What I do like about this is the window on the inside. You know, you've got a little bit more visibility. The other one was uh, a wall on this side with, with some more storage. So again, keeping it to a minimal uh, footprint so that you maximize more space inside the coach. I'm gonna have you talk about this up on the wall here because this is awesome tech. It's great, so this is our spider multiplex system. They come out with this, it's a 13 inch screen. Your home button basically takes you to anything that you wanna control inside the coach. It shows you your inverter, your shore power, where we're plugged in, your fresh water, your gray water, your black water. You look at all your levels, you can turn your generator on from here, your aqua hot system, your water pump, ceiling lights off and on. You got your master, which we'll turn it off and Beautiful. on. Everything works here, and then you can go to your individual settings, which is all of your lights, bed accents, rear vanity. Then you come to your electrical system here, so you can see everything that's going on with your electrical. So if you're like, okay, my chassis house battery's at 12.8, that's good. If that starts dropping, you're saying, oh, well, what's happening? Am I plugged in? Is the power out? You can go check that, right? So we want to make it convenient for our customer base, okay? ACs, heat pumps, it's all right here. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You got your floor heat is here as well. So this has heating pads inside the coach. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to have heated heating floors, pads. man. That's I mean, awesome. I mean, you know you got shoes on right now, but when you decide to come over on this side of it because you love Tiffin, right, you can take them shoes off and walk around barefoot and feel great about it. Slide out controls. One major thing that we changed this year, it's actually this is one of them, then I have two. 
we went all hydraulic slides for model year 2024 so every slide inside this coach is hydraulic and then when you pan around inside the floor here you'll see our editorial velocus floor but we went ahead and did the raised rail like i was telling you about outside so what that does it eliminates the step up transition from the bedroom to the bathroom right you have a flush floor all the way through your back all the way through awesome in king the bedroom bed we're looking at a full this is a like california king this thing's massive big old king bed man big old king bed you got usb charging on the sides you got power up top you also have a control panel on the side you over do. here and that is is that just for lighting or both more? sides both, both sides. sides yep so you have so, both our coach from right here so if you forget it, oh man i forgot to turn the porch light off you just hit a button right there both sides yep yep so depending on where you sleep and she sleeps wherever you want to go man. wherever you want to go um tub tub shower so right? it is a fiberglass shower this is cool this is different not very really a tub before. that is awesome a lot of functionality in here cool top on it you got nice. your shower miser which is the blue little round circle there what's that what's a shower miser i knew he would ask i, I don't know what it about. is so when you're dry camping, you typically wouldn't use this when you're hooked up to short to water. But if you're dry camping, you turn this valve, and what it does is it recirculates the water, and it'll dump it back into your fresh tank, so you're not wasting water till it heats up. So you know you turn your shower on, you let it run for a few minutes, because nobody wants to take a cold shower. No, right? no. of course not. So it's actually taking the water and pushing it back through. Pushing so it back through the system, and then when it turn, it'll turn white. Brilliant. Right here, that's how you know you got hot water. So you just jump in and turn it on. You're not wasting water. Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Love it. Single sink here in the back, plenty of storage. You got the slide again over here from where your washer and dryer are. So you have washer and dryer access in here as well. Um, I love that feature. You got the window that Freddie was showing us earlier from outside. This is the one you can pull the drape down over, right? It's this one, or is it up one more? Maybe it was up here more. You talking about the the outside vent, the outside that's, line? It's right. It's one it's up. It's the one up. It's right here. Okay, cool. So we got that one up there, and then all right, as we make our way out of the bedroom. And we make our bay wait. We ugh, we make our way back up to the front. Let's close that out on price. What are we looking at with one of these? On this coach, MSRP for the customer is going to be four ninety one. Okay, four ninety one MSRP. Go. So great value for the coach. Look at all the amenities that you get. Four fifty engine. It's I would amazing. travel all over the U.S. in this, and I would do it for a couple of years and be like, "This is how I'm rolling." <laughs> hey, Freddie, man, it was really a pleasure. Yeah, really appreciate it. Um, go, go, Bama. Roll Tide. Go dogs. Even though you got a Florida color on, you say go dogs. dogs. I wonder what the dog's going to do this year. I don't know. Ooh, there's some fighting words. But don't, get, don't get Kirby on me and don't get the Georgia fans on me, man. SEC proud. Keep that on the tape. Uh, our first <laughs> SEC guest that we've had over the last three days, which is awesome. Greatly appreciate your time. Hey, y'all, we are almost there. Day three here at the 2023 RV Dealer Open House in Elkhart. Um, amazing time here and tip in with these great. with these gangsters. I mean, <laughs> with these awesome RV people. Appreciate um, it. And we're going to be heading over to one more stop before we close it out for this year's show. Stay tuned. Drop your comments below. Give us a like, a thumbs up. And if there's still something you want us to try and cover, we got one more day tomorrow, not on Facebook, but a little bit of time to roam the show.